Oh my God. Hey, 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 Oh All God. right, uh, yeah, Super Step is the Birds, playing to me, hashtag gospel, what you listen to right here on We Have Gospel. Shout out to everybody listening. 88.7 FM, 100.3 <laughs> FM, we have gospel.com, we have gospel app, and facebook.com slash HG Squad. Diamonds in the building. Hey, yo. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ding, ding, ding. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do that again. Let me do that again. Oh, my goodness. And it's all. Uh-oh. Wait, do I got it yo. in the wrong thing? I got to come know. back and fix this. Buffalo chicken dip fish. Jared, help me Don't out. mess me up, whatever you do. <laughs> oh, no, it's this one. Hey, uh, y'all. Praise the Lord. Beyonce's in the building. Praise the Lord, y'all. And Lady T.Y. Hola. Professor J. Hey. Minister D. Hutt. Buffalo chicken dip. The one and only. <laughs> one and only Deborah Haynes is in the building. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so, Hi, baby girl. You talked a little bit earlier about uh, having singing lessons and everything like that. How did you get started doing this thing? Doing, like, praise and worship? Or Music. Everything. Music, period. Uh, well, I was really, really shy when I was younger, and my mom kept telling me, like, one day you just, because I used to sing in the shower, you know, like normal people, and she was like, one day you just going to bust out, like, I can't wait until that day, and I was like, mom, like, please, I'm praying for you, like, you're speaking loud, <laughs> and she was like, no, like, one day you're really going to come out, and one day, um, the praise and worship leader at my church, she was pregnant, and she got put on bed rest, and she told me, I need you to help. Mm. Like, I just need you to help me. Mm. There ain't nobody else to do it. You just got to do it. I was like, oh, my, why? So I did <laughs> it. And then she had the baby, came back, and just did not want to sing no more. And I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. So I just kept doing this it. temporary. Yeah, like, I thought it was temporary, and it just blew up into something that I'm really thankful for now. You know, it's really uh, holding me together sometimes, but I love what I do. Amen. Wow. Um, so I saw you, I was doing research on you, mm. and I saw you, uh, on the Apollo. Ooh, yeah. I saw you won. And I said, oh, snap, she won in the Say, Apollo? you was all up in Google. What? I had to do my research. <laughs> what was that, that like? so crazy. Um, I, it was so much fun. At the time, you know, I was really, really nervous. Like, my mom would tell you, my mom... If it wasn't for my mom, a lot of the stuff that I do, I probably wouldn't because oh. I was literally like we had travel, we stood in line for hours, and they was about to call my name, and they had just booed this Asian guy off stage. <laughs> I remember it, and I was like, "Yo, I'm going home. Like, where's my coat? Like, I'm leaving." And my mom was like, "The word, relax. You look beautiful." I was like, "Mom, I can look beautiful in the car. Like, we can go." Now. <laughs> and we just. Um, I got on stage and all my family was in the front row, you know, acting crazy. And I sang and that was that. The director, she still keeps in touch with me. Um, it was a really good experience. Mm. Really, really good experience. How'd you make the transition from that into praise and worship? That's a whole other realm there. Yeah, I, don't, I never thought that I would be singing praise and worship. I don't know. I don't know why. I just felt like my worship was kind of like my thing. It was mm -hmm. just you know, something that I did because I love God, you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to be music. I just thought, you know, I worship God, and then God's going to use me to make this music over here, you know. Mm -hmm. That was just going to be that. And the praise and worship thing kind of just blew up, and I think it's more so of um, me letting people into my own personal worship mm -hmm. that makes it um, authentic and makes it work, you right, know. Right. Um, with with r and I think it didn't work because my heart wasn't totally in it. You know right, what I mean? Like, right. I mean, I was 16 trying to sing about love. Like, I don't love nobody but my mom. Like, you know? <laughs> so it was just like it wasn't it wasn't working. Like my heart and my soul is all the way in this thing. You know, so nice. it just it just works so much better. And so you say that. It's because you showed your personal worship. Right. Mm. People started to connect with you. Some people might not even understand what that means. Right. So how do you get to that place where it's a personal thing when you're up there in front of so many people? Right. Um, 
because I because I transitioned from that that R and B setting mm-hmm. to now worship, I realized that I realized more than ever that music is universal and that mm-hmm. even if I'm singing I love you Jesus in front of thousands of Caucasian people that have never even heard the word Jesus before mm-hmm. they they relate because they feel they feel the music and then they start to feel the presence of God and it's like right. okay something happened there like there mm-hmm. was a shift but I don't know what it's called type mm-hmm. thing and that's the I think that's the beauty of music like mm-hmm. it's the best thing in the world to watch somebody's face when they're just like okay she can sing but there's something else mm-hmm. behind the, the music that like I want to know what that part is right because it's like I mean even you know in our culture singing is singing like we know good singers right. you know it's true. Right. you gotta bring it's something else it's, yeah. that, <laughs> it's that like that heart and that that true worship that really draws people person, person. especially when it comes yeah, to that cro- that barrier between um, between cultures us and other cultures mm-hmm. they want to hear skill they want to hear technique they want to hear something different they want to hear passion is what they mm-hmm. call it right but when a caucasian person comes up to me and says you sang the national anthem but there was something else mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. just all that is like my mom will tell you i had to sing the national anthem at a college and one of the professors came to me during the rehearsal and was like i don't know what i felt Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there was something My different mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. you just saying the national. I mean, it was a national anthem. Like, right, right. I don't know what it was, but there was something else. That's that part that like blows my mind every mm-hmm. time. Like, wow. yep. it can't. It's not. It's nothing of mine because mm-hmm. they don't understand the anointing behind. Right. They don't. Yeah, they don't, they don't know, know how to express that. Right. Right. They don't know what that is. They right. just feel it when they hear it. And it's, that's how you know yeah. it's authentic. Mm-hmm. It's, definitely I mean? a, it's definitely it's definitely the uh, the anointing and and uh, um because I because I can relate to it. like I do Christian rap right but it's literally just me up there when I'm doing it like and it's personal like you said it's personal and I believe that that's what they that's that's how God um, pours into you is the fact that you're not just doing it just because people are watching right. you it's your your praise is personal it's a you and God thing absolutely first. And that's how he's able to put his embed, embed his spirit into you. So when you open up your mouth, the words that come out of your mouth and the sound that come out of your mouth is not of your own, Absolutely. but it's, it's from it's from the kingdom of heaven. Absolutely. And that's what they feel way in the back when that mm-hmm. professor was like, it's something else. Right. When you opened your mouth, the kingdom of heaven came out. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And and that, that's I, like I, I, I understand because when I rap, I, I pray and ask God, look, God, you come out. I, I don't want it to be me because if it's me, I'm going to do it my way right. and it's going to be for just them 10 on the side right. when i'm at when i'm at this church in the middle of times river right. you know what i mean yeah. but god if it is um if it's you when i open my mouth it's going to be the whole place is going to know that god is in it yeah, because it's I, i'm singing to you right and then you'll transition your spirit out of my mouth to them yeah. you know and, that, and that's what i and that's that what goes i believe with it choirs is. too though Everything. i've been yeah. i you know i sent go to second and we've been places i've gone and seen choirs and you just sit there and you're unmoved because you're like wow they're really here for show mm-hmm. right and then you can go somewhere we every couple of years we sing at this church and at seeking and i can't think of which church it is but this is a caucasian church and every time right before we go sing that is our prayer that they don't hear us right that is always our prayer that they don't hear us. And they, it is always amazing because Caucasian people will sit there and look at you and you don't know that they like it exactly. until the song is, this. they don't get up and clap. They right. don't, they just sit there and look at you when the song is over. You're like, oh man. They and like they, it. They, well, no, like by time, by time you get to the end of the song, you're thinking, man. We I bombed. <laughs> yes. We bombed, yeah. And then when it's over, they're like, yes. Yeah. You're like, okay. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good point because that's something mm-hmm. that, as a worship leader, can be discouraging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and I thank God for the experience because I was in, you know, that arena, mm-hmm. you know, for that time. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Right. right I understand right. that not all cultures jump and not all cultures shout. Mm-hmm. Right. So if I'm singing praise and worship and they're not, you know, to me getting with me or whatever. It's not my place to say this is what you should have done, right? Or this is how you should have worshipped, because they could have been thinking in their mind like, "Yo, you know, I want to get saved right now." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it could be one word out of my mouth because of flesh 
right. you know, that think that, like, change that will everything. mess it up. Change the whole atmosphere. Yes. And mm-hmm. they'll think, you know, all right, well, ain't no point in me getting saved because I don't want, yeah, <laughs> right, people, right. people talk yeah. to me like that, you know. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. just that keeping your flesh under, you know, subjection when you're ministering. Mm-hmm. Right. you don't know Amen. who, who who's um, listening, who's who for. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that's real. And then Amen. I, I started to hear this song, oh, and every shoot. time, every time <laughs> I would see you, because because you, I've seen you again three times in the last month and a half or so. So mm-hmm. you've been really, really getting around people. You've been in demand, and so everywhere I've seen you at, you did this song that was so amazing. Because like you said, stuff that resonates with people. Thing resonated with me mm. and it also had me having a gas face like what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. and yeah. the song the song is is called uh you're the i am and i'm that's like it. Yeah. that's oh, it doc. what is that's this? it doc. yeah whoever i that's need you to be you are yes. Yes. Listen, you that's sung that, song. Then she, she sung that at the uh stockton, at stockton. At yeah stockton, right? I, my yeah. son was sleep I don't know. If my <laughs> my son was 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 because my son was there with me, yeah. and he was sleeping like falling over, and I'm, I was put his coat on like we out, like and then he went into that. I'm like, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> I gotta stay. And I, I had uh, the homie of mine, Joel. He was behind me, yeah, and he yeah. was up, and I'm like, I gotta go, but and I, I propped my son up, and I'm like, ah. That's, <laughs> Yeah, you you yeah you crushed that joint. Oh, you crushed it definitely. To God be the glory. And be, just just the few times I saw it, I started to see that other people was like waiting for it. Like when the band hit that yeah. that one, uh huh. <laughs> <dum, dum, laughs> yeah. They was like, oh, uh, uh, we uh, 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 <laughs> And then she started yeah, doing it. Killing that joint. So and then I found out that you actually created that. Yeah. And it's like wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, that song, yeah. that song right there. When you do like, I don't know if you recorded it yet or not. But when you do, when you put it out, when I tell you that song's gonna go to the nations, yeah. to God the nations, we say. I'm uh-huh. telling you right now, like that joint is a hit right there. Yeah. I'm telling you, and it's like a hit because mm-hmm. it's anointed, and it's because everybody is simple and everybody can sing, and it's powerful. And I just want to know, what is your creative process? Describe it to us. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Y'all should have seen her face. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Okay, so what's crazy is I never thought I was a writer. I didn't really, you know, I didn't like sit down and write and like, okay, guys, let's think of something. We had a service. And my pastor said, you know, my pastor is very creative. He's very mm-hmm. like visual. He's young, you know. Uh, Kingdom Outreach. Shout out to your hey. pastor. <laughs> Shout out to my pastor, Desmond Wiggins. See him all the time. Kingdom Outreach in all of our New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, you know, we're gonna have a service. It's gonna call be called the throne room, and I want you to face the altar. Don't face us. Just worship. Yes. Mm. So I was like, okay, I'm nervous. Because mm. I just, wow. it was just like, uh, mm. I don't know. It, it's that's just speaking, another speaking level. Lord. level. That's yeah, crazy just, that he said that. It's another level. level it's Woo. another level of exposure. Yes. You know wow. what I mean? Yes. Like doing praise and worship, it was a controlled exposure. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, right. 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 It's a controlled like, okay, you can see this much, but not right. this much. Right. So when he said, you know, throne room, I'm like, you about to have me looking ugly in front of the saints. Like, <laughs> so I was like, all right. So I faced the altar, and I was so nervous, oh and I just God. knelt down. That's right, mm. right there. I knelt down, and I started um, humming. I just started humming. Then I started singing um, Alpha and Omega. Then I started singing I Will Exalt You. Mm-hmm. And we were just going, and Darrell um, started playing that. Da, 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 da. He started playing that. And I was singing, I will exalt you. You are my God. And yeah. I kept singing that, kept singing that, kept singing that. And um, it was a moment where I started to feel a little heavy. Like, you know, when you're in like deep worship mm-hmm. and then you, it starts getting to that to that shifty place where it's yeah, like yeah. you're sad almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I'm saying, you are my God, you are my God. And I'm like starting crying, I'm getting all ugly yeah. and stuff. His and presence then, fell on you. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. it just, it got to this place where it was just like, you're whoever I need you to be. Like, right. And I just started singing. Literally, it just came out of my mouth. Like, mm. I didn't know what was happening. Thank God Darrell was like half in, half out of the spirit right. because he pulled his phone out and was recording like, uh, this is something. Like, we need to get this get down on paper. Yeah. Right. So when when the service was over, he was like, okay, so you ready to record? Like, I was like, what do you mean? Record what? Like, everything that I sang was not for recording right and um that's how it came like i started teaching it to the group and they were like yo deborah are you kidding me like and i was like are y'all sure like this 
this is like fresh, like hot off the press, like yeah. straight from <laughs> hot heaven, off the you know? spirit. Yeah, like this yeah, is that's like, spiritual. You know, so I, it was just that level of, and I, I find that as I um, allow myself to be exposed and allow people to see deeper and deeper into my worship, hmm. songs like that come up. Right. And I'm just like, okay, God, like at this point, I might as well just be be open to it, you know, like. Let it just all hang out, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's where that song came from. I'm trying to get a that's visual heavy. here. So you said that you weren't even facing the congregation. congregation. Right. You were facing the altar, the altar Literally. singing. Yeah. To and the they Lord. Were, you were leading them in worship. Literally. And you and didn't have to face them. This is the crazy part. They were, my mom will tell you, they were literally singing the song as if it was already recorded. Like, spirit. everybody knew spirit. it. That's it was spirit. already a song, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm telling like, this was... <clears throat> no, you can't explain it but to say God because yes. it was just like they, they were so in that they were singing like like we were all a praise team. Mm -hmm. wow. And I and I feel like I feel like that is my main um, mission as a worship leader and of this generation to kind of let people know that you really don't have to do much. Nope. Like you don't mm -hmm. have to do don't. anything crazy. You mm -hmm. don't have to pull on people. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go into the crowd and say, you know That's what, it. you sing this, you sing that. I'm telling you, when like when the presence of God comes mm -hmm. and it's authentic and genuine, yeah. people react. Like mm -hmm. and you don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Like I, I am the last person to like. I, this is all God. Like, I'm the last person to perform. I don't do a whole lot. Like, you know, when people see me, they, you know, I have a little enthusiasm. You know, I jump a little bit. Mm -hmm. hey. You know, I do yeah, a little yeah, bounce. A little step. A little, little step. Little little yeah. But that, I, honestly, it's literally all God. Like, yes. I can't put mm -hmm. anything on myself. I mm -hmm. can't say, oh, well, I did this. Or, oh, well, I did this. And that's how it is. All, like, 100%. Mm. All that. It's mm. funny that you just said how that how that song came about was when you had your back again to the congregation and you were facing the altar because because I've been like doing praise and worship for years or whatever mm. and I always felt to ur the urge to just stop looking at Absolutely. everybody mm. Mm. and just go in Absolutely. all the way yeah and it's like that is crazy it's that you said it's the, it's the best it feeling it is. in the world oh it is. goodness it's the best feeling. that's I, I don't sing. I rap, but That's but nah, but literally, literally, like I don't, I, I'm not a dancer. Anybody know me? Tell you, I don't dance. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, like when I'm, I like I got a little, uh, a little, a little step, you know, extra, a little, you know? hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like literally, what you were saying about about not looking at the people, literally every time I get up there, that's what that's what excels me is yeah. that I I find a I find a place where where I can visualize. Um, everything God's brought me through like yeah. I make it, it becomes visual to me when mm -hmm. I'm doing like the songs that God, that God has given me like a lot of, sometimes you catch me I'll be looking up right because I'll find a spot way behind people or sometimes I'll turn around and just I'll do a jump to it but in my in my in my visual I'll be visualizing God bringing me out I'll be visualizing yeah. worshiping God when I'm in my living room you yeah. know what I mean yeah. because I because I need I need to be none of me yeah. Because it's not mine to give to people. Mm -hmm. God bless me with the bless us with the ability, Absolutely. but it's but it's for it's for His people, mm -hmm. and 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 also we sing it to ourselves. It's for our own yeah. healing. You know what I mean? That's and true. I, but yeah, I, I understand where you're at. I never wow. seen nobody do that though. Mm -hmm. A pastor tell you yeah. to turn. That's well, amazing. I love. That's one thing. That's that amazing. I, I truly He's innovative. Love. Yeah, He's innovative. I truly love about my pastor. If you ever come to my church, he always um, finds a new way yeah. to come across to people mm -hmm. and like um, just just always staying different. You know, if if you come, you sometimes you'll see different props mm -hmm. or you know like just very visual. Like he understands this generation's desire to see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You may not be able to see God, but if I show you, he, he does movie mania. And we just did a uh, Get Out. Wow. Yeah, did a whole sermon on Get Out. Me, like, we, my whole family was like, we have to go watch Get Out again. Like, yeah. this is crazy. Like, yeah. he was literally breaking it down and explaining it to us. And he really pushes us and challenges us as young people to, um, to get a deeper revelation of who God is, mm -hmm. you know, like that maybe my mom may not have seen God the way that I'm going to see God, right. but if I stop looking at him the way my mom has shown, 
shown me how to look at him, mm-hmm. then maybe I'll get a, a different Something type of deeper. revelation. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. he's coming from a family of preachers. Right. So he already has kind of a layout of how people right. say basic, he should yeah. be, you right. know, yeah. he should be teaching or he should be preaching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the way that he comes across to us, it kind of shows us you can step out a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not a sin. You can step out. Yeah. Living God's be, imagination. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. be you. <laughs> living, yes. God's, living God's, that sounds yeah. familiar. Uh, and I, now I can see the connection between yeah. him see? and my pastor, David G. Evans. Like, yeah. I was yeah. always there. That. That's the yeah. same thing you, know you told saying? me when I was talking to you the other day. Remember? Yes, yes. Yeah. About uh, the, it sound, what she was saying, it sounded like our conversation we had on the phone the other day. The props yeah, and all about that. The church Absolutely. And, everything. and I, th- I think that's huge for this generation who's so, um, who's so, who's visual, but who's so exposed. This generation is exposed to way more, way earlier than than Absolutely. than we were. So to have so to have a pastor that's willing to be innovative and willing to allow <coughs> things, he he he's operating in God, like he said, in God's mind. Yeah. So that that box of coming from a family of pastors, and and it should look like this, it should feel like this, it should move like that, is is not the box that this generation needs. Yeah. Because that generation gonna come in there and look in that box and be like, yeah, I'm so away from that box that I'm leaving. Right. You know what mm. I mean? So to have a so to have a pastor that that <laughs> does that, that's saying, listen, we we still need them because yeah. without them, this church is done. Right. They're the future. Right. You know what I mean? We're the future. Definitely. So, um, man, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. You're getting into topics that we oh, have later in the show. Oh, am I? <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't know. I think I did that. Yeah, I didn't know. Yes. I didn't oh, know. so we man, have the one bad. and only Deborah I'm, I'm Haynes. Excited. We have the one and only Deborah Haynes in the building, and I just want to uh, give a shout out to her and her mom. For giving me this, y'all Yay. see this? Yay. I'm gonna oh. rock this. You ain't even using the clap, Steph. Yes. Oh, here, logo. The clap set, clap. man. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Gotta say the name, then the clap. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we gotta go. <laughs> Back into this music and um talking to the mic. We gotta get back into this music. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you known this yet? You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna bust you. Yeah. I'm gonna bust you. Uh, anyway, um, uh, we're gonna um get into this music when we come back. We're gonna be talking about um marriage questions. So when it comes to marriage, who comes first, the kids or the spouse? And also, should couples share bank accounts and Facebook pages and all that good stuff. Later on, we're going to be talking about um, reasons why people uh, don't attend church and how do we fix that. And also, we're going to be talking about uh, how many uh, non-Christian friends is too many uh, non-Christian friends. And also, uh, we're going to be talking about um, man law. Can you? Is it okay for men to criticize other men who cheat in a relationship? That's <laughs> sorry, that, that's crazy. Um, so we're going to get to all that. Um, we're going to play some D-Hut today. Huh? Hey. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to show him some love today. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he kept talking about his ministry. So I'm going to show him some love. We're going to get to the winner's circle. Woo. Hey. Nah, 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 nah. And then when we come back, uh, we're going to be getting into this first topic right here. And right, the boy Haynes is in the building, and we're very Damn. happy to have her. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Stella. much. Pa, what? Oh, Stellars. That's what it is. Uh, go to... We have gospel.com. Go to our Facebook page, everything, and click on the voting uh, link, <laughs> button, link, all that good stuff because we're in the second round for the Stellar Awards. We're trying to go back, we're trying to win number three. Okay? So help us out. Super Stephens Birds are playing. It's me, Beyonce in the building. Praise the Lord, everybody. Diamond in the building. Yo. Lady T.Y. Hola. Professor J. Hey. Minister D. Hutt. Yeah, yeah. The one and only DeBar Haynes. Hi. <laughs> 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 we'll be back after this, y'all. They ain't no better past life. Ain't no up, no up, no up. But in Jesus, that's my past life. That's my past, that's my past. They so worried about my last what you life. Worried for? They ain't see the blessings, they don't see the blessings. Friday, all in my zone. Tell